Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So let's just jump right into this video, shall we? I get asked all the time, what type of blower do I recommend for a coal forge? Now I get this question, I don't know, probably at least two or 300 times a year. And it just comes from having a big channel like we do here with over 48,000 subscribers at the recording of this video. And that is awesome because that means there's more and more new people getting into it each and every single year and each and every single day and they're finding the channel. So that's awesome. First, just wanna point that out. The biggest, uh, the biggest thing that you need in a blower is you need to be able to develop static pressure. You need to be able to develop inches of water column. So that's, you know, the lift basically. You need to be able to develop pressure with a blower. Not all blowers do this. A lot of blowers, say like in a fan, squirrel cage and stuff like that, they don't provide a lot of static pressure. They basically, they move air kind of like a household fan and that's just really not sufficient when you pile a bunch of coal or coke on top of it. That's not going to be very sufficient for you. So what I've found is that the absolute best blower that you can come up with on the market that's super quiet and works really great in your coal forges and I just rigged this up as an adaptation to my hand crank forge so this way I can burn coke in my forge is a Dayton blower. It's a model number 1TDP3. So what that what that indicates is that 3 it means it is a 75 CFM or cubic foot a minute airflow blower and they are very very super quiet and with just a little bit of adapting you can plumb them right into your forge build. The pipe that I made here is just a standard T pipe. You could get this with plumbing fittings off the shelf although a lot more expensive if you don't have a welder. Again, you can plumb this up with some black iron fittings. Uh, this here is a three inch. This is a three inch or what they call a three inch blower here, the outlet here. Uh, really, it's more like two, two and a half inch pipe so you can get just fine with some black iron right there. Really, all you need is a flange though that you can take and bolt up this piece to flange to flange. This is far superior to a hair dryer blower um, or a bouncy castle, bouncy house blower or anything like that because those put off so much airflow that you just really don't need it all and they're very loud. This, however, is very quiet running. So I'll turn it on here. They're kind of slow to start and you'll hear that it's got a little bit of airflow. And with that being down, as you can see, I don't have to talk that much louder to talk over the blower here. That being down at your feet, blowing up through the bottom of your forge, you can just barely distinguish it running with everything else going on in the shop. And it's definitely not louder than your hammer blows at hand. Hence, this is why I'm converting from my old blower that I have. I'll put a link to these, by the way, a beware, those are affiliate links. They go to help the channel at no additional cost to you if you do purchase a blower through those links, but if you just want to go read up on them, that's fine, do so with those links and you can read the data sheets and the spec sheets on them. But I have another forge blower that I got from Harbor Freight, it was a central machinery um, dust collection system, and I still am going to use that blower, but it's for a very specific forge that I have in mind, and I bought that blower very specifically originally to forge a 30 pound sledgehammer head. Um, you know, and I needed to get it hot, a big pile of coke, like 50 pounds of coke hot. And so I needed a ton of extra CFM, and I think that was 475 CFM that that thing runs at. Problem is, is it has a whine to it. It has a really loud noise, and it's kind of hard. You have to elevate your voice to talk over. As where with something like this, you don't have to worry about that. Also, it was very hard. It's hard to control the air gate. So this is going to work out better under my forge. It'll be a lot quieter for videos, and then I can still burn coke um, in the forge, and it'll save me a whole lot of cranking. That'll bring me to my second question I get all the time, and I'll just try to answer it in this video real quick. People ask, which do I prefer, electric blower or hand crank? I prefer hand crank, but right now, in the setup that I am, I do not have a way of venting out the coal smoke. So 
I am using coke, which does not put off, it does not off gas um, the harmful sulfurs and uh, the sulfur dioxides and things like that that come out of the coal smoke. So I don't have to worry about that in the shop. It doesn't off gas those things. Uh, so it keeps a really nice short hot fire. Um, no sparks or embers or anything like that that you might get from say a, a charcoal fire or things of that nature. And it just takes and it just works. End of story, it just works. Get plenty of heat out of it. Coke is awesome for that. It's very clean, uh, very clean running. But this blower here will be perfect for my application and it's a lot, lot quieter. You can just barely hear it run in the shop. Um, and that's what I need for filming work and stuff. So if you don't want to wake your neighbors with a really loud blower or something that whines a whole lot, these little Dayton blowers, I can super recommend them. You will have to kit them out, however, with a switch. They do not come wired, so you will have to wire them with your own electrical cord. Um, follow your own electrical code for those things, uh, for that sort of thing. Um, I just took an extension cord and cut it and just used the plug end end of the extension cord like you would regularly. And then the other portion of the, the, the female end of the extension cord, I cut that off and wired it into the box. Quick and easy, pretty cheap way of getting wiring as well. Uh, again, little on off switch, basic, you can find these, I think these are about seven bucks. I'll put the links to everything that I've got here to set this blower up, minus this air gate, which is nothing more than a round piece with a hole drilled through uh, the blower itself. I'll put all the links to this stuff that I'm using on this blower in the description down below, so be sure to check those out, um, and again, as I said, those are affiliate links. They do go to help support the content on this channel at no additional cost to you. So great way, win-win. So that's it for today. I didn't want to keep you super long. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you'd like to support great content like this in other ways, just take and share this video around with your friends if you found it helpful. That's it for today. God bless, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.